Today we are opening one of Yu-Gi-Oh's rarest first edition boxes, Light of Destruction. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video, and this is not just any epic video, this is day 365 or one year straight of YouTube daily uploads. We have had some sort of content on this channel for an entire year, so we are going to be celebrating, as you guys saw, with a first edition Light of Destruction booster box. It is opened box, so that saved us quite a bit of money. Hopefully we will still pull some amazing pulls in here. This is one of the rarest boxes you can find. I've never opened this one. This is the second to last first edition box that I needed to open from GX and the original series, the last one we need is invasion of chaos first edition but before we dive into that we have a huge giveaway for one year i'll be giving away this duelist pack special edition and that's not all so this is pretty cool there's also 10 ghosts from the past first edition packs if you want to get ready for ghosts from the past two try and win this giveaway and finally we have a dark magician that was pulled from battles of chaos we gave away one on twitter now we're giving away another one on youtube all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite moment from the past year on my channel. This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Do you remember those mornings as a kid where you could just sit back, relax, grab a bowl of cereal, and watch some Yu-Gi-Oh? Those were good times, but things changed. I realized that cereal is sugary and unhealthy. I moved on from Yu-Gi-Oh. Years later, I wanted to recapture that childhood nostalgia by making a Yu-Gi-Oh YouTube channel. Guess what else I decided to bring back? Cereal. This time, I decided to go with a delicious yet healthy brand, Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories per serving. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Magic Spoon allows me to revisit that childhood nostalgia every time I eat my favorite flavor of their cereal, peanut butter. Mmm. That's good. Click the link below to grab a variety pack and try it today. Be sure to use promo code RUXIN5 at checkout to get $5 off any order. Or go to magicspoon.com slash RUXIN5. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's back with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. So click the link below and use code RUXIN5 for $5 off any order. Or use magicspoon.com slash RUXIN5. Thanks again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring my one year celebration video. All right, let's get into the opening, guys. We have 24 first edition packs. Inside, we would like to pull Honest Ghost Rare. That would be one of the coolest things. Judgment Dragon, there's a lot of Lightsworn cards. A lot of crazy potential in this box, so let's see what we can pull. This is a very expensive box, even if it's not sealed, but if it's sealed, the lowest on eBay was like 25K. I think it's probably a little high, but it is a very, very rare set, so we're not going to get to open it very often. Let's see what we can pull. We have a Cloudian Storm Dragon. Hero Mask, Arcana Force, the Emperor. We're not, yeah, that's four, I guess. Limb Reverse, very cool. Destruction Jammer, we're starting off with a rare Battery Man, Charger, Short Circuit, Volcanic Queen, and Summon Limit. This is a very good regular common card. I was about to say rare, it's not a rare. Summon Limit is definitely going to be worth a few dollars because it's still good in today's meta. And this came out in like 2007, eight, I think eight maybe. Seven or eight. I'll have the release date, date pop up, but this is a very old set at this point. This is one of the hardest sets to find because it was such a popular set at the time in the meta that it just... Yeah, they sold a lot of the boxes, and then you just can't really find them anymore. Battery Man, Micro Set. We got Wetlands. Summon Limit again. This is a good start, getting a double Summon Limit. We've got Tour of Doom. Very cool. Demise of the Land is another good common. This got a reprint, but before it was like a $9 common, which is insane. Arcana Force for the Emperor. We've got a quick charger and a smorg bird of ancestry. I think this is actually worth something too. All those smorg cards are always worth something for some reason. Next up, in this set, you can get secret rares, ultimate rares, ghost rares, uh, ultra rares, super rares. You can get almost every rarity in here. So it's a pretty fun set. Hopefully we can get at least an ulti and a secret in here. We're, I mean, ghost rare is probably not to be expected. One out of 12 boxes, but if we get that box, we will see. We have a cross border, sanguine swamp, short circuit, D fortune. Cloudian Storm Dragon, Hero Mask, Arcana Force 4, we pull that like every time, Limit Reverse, okay, and a Substitute, here's another one, I think this guy's like 9 bucks or something as a rare, so we're pulling a lot of good rares and commons, but we need to pull some foils. I would personally love to see Honest, even if it only comes in the secret rare version, because I need that for my binder. If you guys remember the binder opening, or not the opening, but the binder I'm putting together for ghost rares and secret rares and stuff like that. So hopefully we can do that. We have a Miracle Flipper. Cana Force 6, The Lovers. Very nice. Light Spirals. Wait, okay, let me look at this. The Lovers. That's interesting. Light Spiral. Cup of A's, classic card. Spell Gear. Interplanetary Invader A. Very nice. 
Arcana Force 18, the moon, okay. Gladiator Lash and Maniacal Servant. What a creepy looking card. Okay, Maniacal Servant. On to the next one. I hope you guys have enjoyed the last year of uploads. If you do want to support this opening and the channel, make sure to check out my TCG player and eBay affiliate links down below. If you guys buy anything using my link, you don't have to spend any extra. It just supports the channel. So I really appreciate when you guys do that. Okay. We're also probably having a sponsor on this video, assuming it gets um, approved or whatever. So if you do, you know, I appreciate you guys supporting that. We got, oh, another summon limit. Very nice. Space gift. Very cool. Arcane Force 1, the Magician. Very nice. Rainbow Gravity. I got to stop saying that, guys. Interplanetary Invader A. Quick Charger. And Flame Spirit Ignis. We have another rare. It's a slow start. I'm hoping that we will pull something out of here eventually. So this is so there's a there's a, a cost benefit to opening an open box. So uh, we saved a lot of cost because it's not sealed. Secondly, we risk has something having been tampered with or something like that. Volcanic Queen. So oh, we just uh, reckon special. So hopefully the risk pays off. D Fortune, Battery Man, Charger, Mystical Cards of Light, Limit Reverse. Garoth, Lightsworn Word. Those, those, there are those Lightsworns. Very cool. Reversal of Fate. And a Ribbon of Rebirth. Another rare. This is a slow start, guys. I'm getting a little nervous. But all we need is one big pack. Judgment Dragon. Honest. Anything crazy like that could change the tide of the opening. Here we go. We have a Cross Porter. Sanguine Swamp. Lady in White. Arcana Force 3, the Empress. Portable Battery Pack. Realm of Light. Goblin Recon Swad. Mystical Cards of Light. And a Glorious Illusion. We are what? How many packs into this? Okay, we're only like six packs in, so it's not really that crazy yet. Do you guys remember that? What was the live stream we did? Was it Soul of the Duelist? First, like 11 packs had nothing. It was insane. It was really insane. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen, because that just that made me unnecessarily nervous. All right, we have Cup of Ace, a Raging Cloudian, Arcana Force Six, The Lovers, Short Circuit, Demise of the Land, very nice. There's not a lot of Light Sworn so far. I guess a lot of them are Hollows. Golden Bamboo Sword's another decent one. Arcana Call, Arcana Force Eighteen, The Moon, Froggy Force Field, a Froggy Croak. Okay, next pack. Can we get a foil? That would be that would be nice for sure. That would be nice. All right. One, two, three, four. Give us something good. Lady in white. All right. Another decent one. Arcana Force Zero. The Fool. That might be us when we open all these weight packs. Level tuning. Hopefully not. <laughs> Arcana Call. A Unifrog. Cool card. Jane Lightsworn Paladin. There's another Lightsworn. Rainbow Gravity. And Glorious Illusion. Okay. Time is now to start freaking out. We have a... What? Three more packs. Okay, it's been nine. It's been nine. So can we get something good? We have one, two, three, four. Battery Man Charger. Light Spiral. Arcane Force 6, The Lovers. Cup of Ace. Interplanetary Invader A. Realm of Light. Destiny Hero Dread Servant. Arcane Force 1, The Magician. And a Dark Valkyria. Where are the foils? <laughs> this would be a classic way for us to have a special opening. Do you guys remember when we had that? We got scammed out of, a, what was it, like Tactical Evolution or something? It was like resealed. Yeah, that, that was painful. Hopefully that is that is not this painful this time. All we need is a Ghost Shred. That's all we need to turn it around. Two, three, four. Here we go. Level tuning. Arcana Force 7, the Chariot. Cup of Ace. Raging Cloudian. Garoth, Lightsworn Warrior. Arcana Call. Unifrog again. Jane Lightsword Paladin. And Battery Man Industrial Strength. Okay, it's another regular rare. Oh, remember when I said 11 packs? Here's number 12. Let's see if number 12 can turn this around. Okay, alright. Let's go. Come on, Volcanic Queen, please. Summon Limit, nice card. Lady in White. Arcana Force Zero, The Fool. Gladiator Lash. Reversal of Fate. Quick Charger. Portable Battery Pack. Ribbon of Rebirth. 12 packs. Nothing. All right, on to the second half. Uh, technically, they could all be on the other side. We'll, I guess we'll find out. I mean, will we pull something? 
They could have been in just a weird order. You never know. But right now, I'm not feeling too confident. We have Garoth, Lightsworn Dragon. Very cool. Space Gift. Miracle Flipper. Arcane Force 6, The Lovers. Arcane Force 18, The Moon. Cloudy and Storm Dragon. Lucky Chance. Hero Mask. Celestial Light Sworn Angel. We found a foil. It's an ultimate rare, too. That is awesome. There's the Light Sworns that we're looking for. Ultimate rare. Celestia Light Sworn Angel. Wow. We finally pulled something. All right. That's a good sign. So maybe they're all on the left. It's also kind of hard to weigh out foils. So if these were potentially like weight or something and we only get that. Maybe that's why. But maybe they were just all on the left. So we're going to find out. That's at least a relief to pull something. Okay. We will take that. Now let's see if we can get like a secret rare, ghost rare, or anything else. We get a Volcanic Queen. This card, I did not know this card came in here. It's kind of like a weird Kaiju that they uh, Simo used on me. D Fortune, Garoth, Reversal of Fate, Hero Mask, Jane Lightsworn Paladin, and Lumina Lightsworn Summoner. Very cool card. The original rare version. I think it comes in ulti, does it? I didn't think they did rares as ultis in this set, but maybe they did. I don't know. I'll pop it up on the screen if there is an ultimate rare printing. If not, then there's not. Okay. One, two, three, four. There's a super rare in champion pack, so there's probably not an ulti, because that was probably the high rarity. Battery Man Charger, Arcana Force 7, Dice Dry, Deformation. All right, Gladiator Lash, Spell Gear. Yeah, there is Gladiators in here. The uh, Geyseris is in here, I think. The Magician, Rainbow Gravity, and a Nimble Musasabi. We've got another rare. Okay, back-to-back -back rares. So far, we've opened 15 packs and gotten one foil. So it's not looking too great so far, okay? Not looking too great. If it's just an ulti, then that's sort of a uh, red flag. But we're gonna we're gonna keep opening and find out. We've got a miracle flipper, deformation, cross border, sanguine swamp, cane of force for the emperor, rainbow gravity, interplanetary invader A, portal battery pack, <laughs> destruction jammer. Oh, it's looking a little sketch right now. Okay, so this is how many packs we have left. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight packs. Can we actually pull? There's still enough packs to pull like a normal ratio, but we kind of got to go on a huge streak here, and let's see if we can do that. Right now, we have one foil, which is not great. We have Bat Arcana Force 6, The Lovers, Short Circuit, Light Spiral, Space Gift, a Rainbow Gravity, Demise of the Land, very nice. Golden Bamboo Sword, also nice. Arcana Call, and... Arcana Force 14, Temperance. That card was used in some Duel Links decks. Okay, another rare. 365-day celebration, baby. <laughs> Man, what a way to celebrate. Opening some Wade packs. Pretty exciting. Let's see. We have a Light Spiral, Cup of Ace, Battery Man Charger, Short Circuit, Destiny Hero Dread Servant, Spell Gear, Interplanet Potato Lither, Invader A. Arcana Force 18, the moon. And, oh, a Phantom Dragon. We got an ultra rare. Okay. We got some pulls. We've got an ultra rare. Our second foil of the box. Okay. Does this mean we're about to go on a streak or not? Two foils. Okay. Two foils total. Better than zero for sure. And at least it's the ulti and an ultra and not like a, just a couple supers or something. That would be pretty rough. Phantom Dragon. Okay. That's pretty cool. Four. Let's go. Light Spiral. Space Gift. Batterman Microcell. Dice Dry. Lucky Chance. Unifrog. Very cool. Jane Lightsworn. Lightsworn. Paladin. Arcana Call. And Arcus Lightsworn Druid. Okay. Another foil. Is it starting to pull some stuff? Very nice. All right. Does this mean we're about to pull something else? Is it all going to wait for the end? Is this crazy? This is kind of crazy, actually. Like, uh, wow. All right. I'm ready. I'm hyped. This is the weirdest box I've ever opened. This order is crazy. We've got a Wetlands. Summon Limit again. Very good pull. We've got a Gar Garganith. I read that as Garoth again. That's Garganith. Okay. Garganith Lightsworn Dragon. Space Gift. Cloudy and Storm Cloud. Like a chance. Man, the Cloudians are just... They're bad. Hero Mask. Destiny Hero Dread Servant. And... 
Gladiator Beast Geyserus. And there it is. The Geyserus Super Rare. Very nice. Look at that, guys. That's the one I just called earlier. Very good. It looks like it's in nice condition as well. This is the crazy card for Gladiator Beast that made them really good for a while. Okay, we were up to four foils. We're literally pulling everything at the end. On to the next pack. Let's go. We have one, two, three, four. Arcana Force, Seven the Chariot, Dice Try, Deformation, Raging Cloudian, Hero Mask, Jane Lightsworn Paladin, Gladiator Lash, Spell Gear, and Celestia Lightsworn Angel Ultra Rare. What the heck? Whoa, we got the Ultra and the Ulti. That's so weird. Okay, so that's another foil. What in the world? This is the weirdest opening I've ever done. This is a pretty classic way to end the year, just with a really strange opening. Okay, let's look at these. All right, let's go like this. I mean, these packs seem legit. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything going on with them, from what I can tell. Okay. I mean, who knows? Maybe there is, but you never know. We might have just got them shuffled to the end for the most part. We got a Microcell, Dice Tribe. We got a Miracle Flipper, Deformation, Arcana Force, 18 the Moon, a Lucky Chance, a Unifrog. Jane Light Sworn Paladin again. And a Vanquishing Light Super Rare. All in a row. Like, we've pulled how many in a row now? Like, five or something? This is just weird. Two more packs. Let's see if we get more uh, pulls or not. I don't know. We're going to find out, I guess. Let's go. Okay, let's go like this. I mean, these are opening like, like normal for the most part, it feels like. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems so odd that they're all at the end. You know what I mean? Let's just keep going. Lady in White. Nice. Arcane Force 3. Raging Cloudian. Garganeth. Lightsworn Dragon. Realm of Light. Goblin Recon Swad. Mystical Cards of Light. Limer Reverse. And a Magical Exemplar. Like, literally. How many in a row is this? One, two, three, four, five. I think six in a row. And on to the final pack. We have no secret rare. So will we get one or will we not? I guess we're going to find out right here. Hopefully we can because that's you know kind of a big deal on these. Okay. We have one, two, three, four. We have a Battery Man Charger. Short Circuit. Volcanic Queen. Summon Limit. Very nice. We got a Reversal of Fate. Quick Charger. Portable battery pack and Garoth Lightsworn. Where? Oh, it's after this. I was like, what? And a Light of Redemption, another super rare. So, no secret rare in this box. That was such a weird opening. Hope you guys enjoyed it for the one year special. I appreciate all you guys watching all the videos over the last year, and hopefully, we will be able to continue the streak. Keep on posting every single day for you guys. Go check out the shorts and the live channel that I just added. You guys can check those out in the description. I'll pop them up on the screen. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tone Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike, Nance, Mimic Echo, Spanky Bit Falling, G Raider, Daxter, Ian Musa, and Junior Barding. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.